Hello and welcome to the Anubhav Learning Series videos. In the last video, we discussed about basics of what is robotic process automation. We have also talked about the benefits of robotic process automation. In today's session, we will go ahead and discuss how can we create our first chatbot using conversational AI. If you have not seen my last video, I would request you to please follow the description of this video to find the link of my part one. So in the last session, we talked about where the world is moving in terms of robotic process automation, what are all the benefits of robotic process automation, and what is our use case to create a complete end-to-end -end application and integrate it with SAP UI 5 app using our conversational AI tool. Now, we will first get started with our CAI account. CAI stands for conversational AI account. So SAP is offering a free trial account for conversational AI, which allows you to automate your business process and improve the customer support with the help of AI chatbots. In order to create your free account, it is always a good practice to get started with a free GitHub account because the chatbot which you will be creating, all the data related to that chatbot will be stored in the GitHub. So first, you can go ahead and subscribe on github.com subscribe for a new free account on github and then you get started with kai.tools.sap so let's click on the link and this would take us to the conversational ai home page so this is where you can get started with sap conversational ai platform i click on login button and now i choose login with github since i have already logged in using my github account system will automatically sense that login and it takes me to my Kai account using GitHub. So let me click here. And this would now automatically logs me in with my account of GitHub to Kai. So once this step is done, you can find out the list of bots which are currently created by me for practice purpose. Right now, I just created only one, but I will show you now creating a bot from scratch. So before we get in into creating our first bot, let's go ahead and quickly talk about our use case. So in the last session, we talked about our use case. Mr. Sam, who's a SAP user, would like to reset his SAP logo and password. There are different systems in my company, and I would want Mr. Sam to take a support from our robot. This bot will greet Mr. Sam when he is connecting to the system and also request for his reset of password. On request, we will also provide him the proposal for the systems which are available. And finally, he will choose a system in which he would like to reset his password. Our bot understand that and accordingly sent the link to reset the password to Mr. Sam. So this support was earlier done by a basis guy in your company. And now this is completely automated with the help of a chatbot. So let's go ahead and talk about basics of a chatbot. So whenever you would like to design chatbot, you need to remember these bare minimum basics to get started. So the first com question comes is, what is a chatbot composed of? A chatbot is composed of two major components. One is a skill and another is called training data set. So what is a skill? A skill is a block of conversation that has clear purpose that your chatbot can execute to achieve a goal. For example, a skill could be reset password. So this is one skill. Now, as you can see in the screenshot, there are a variety of skills. Greetings is one skill. Small talk is a skill. Checking weather report, getting customer feedback, or setting an alarm is a skill. For our use case, we will be developing a skill from scratch, so-called reset password skill. Now, what is a skill composed of? And what is a training data set? A training data set is composed of many sentences organized into intents that represents what users say to your chatbot. For example, when a user connect first time to the chat window, user will greet you by saying, hola, hello, ni hao. Yeah, all these different statements, they are all organized together as intent and that becomes your training data set. So an intent is a box of expressions that means the same thing. For example, hello, hi, hey, how are you? So all these are meaning greeting so that's what an intent is all about 
So it's a sequence of expressions that comes out to be same. Ultimately, the meaning is same, but is said in a different way. Then comes is something called expressions. So as I mentioned, an intent is a collection of expressions. So you can see all these expressions. I want to reset my password. Please reset my password. Kindly change my password. Want to change my password? Reset the password. All of these expressions, individual sentence, which are expressions in the green color, they all indicate or points to the same meaning. Now, within these expression, if you see, there is one common thing which you can find as something called a keyword. This keyword is very important. So, your chatbot need to identify what exactly user is asking you to do. And based on that only, your further decisions will be taken. So in this case, the reset is that word, which is you can consider as a perfect keyword or change password is that keyword, which you can extract out to instruct your chatbot that what is that ultimately user wants to do. In subsequent conversation, your chatbot can further ask our user which system he or she would like to change the password. Together with that, you can also propose the top use systems or top use systems or newly created systems in your company which makes your life which makes the user's life a little easy to choose the systems out of available systems we will see that in the practicals let's move on more about uh, the concepts of steps in order to define a chatbot you would also need to understand triggers requirements and actions so triggers are the conditions that determine whether a bot should execute the current skill or not so you will have a a bot created with a with lots of skills inside so one skill is password reset another skill can be greetings yeah so there are a lot of skills so the chat bot has to determine based on which condition which statement which user says to you which skill will be executed so that's the trigger for example hello in that case it should trigger the greetings skill i would like to reset my password in that case it has to trigger the reset password skill right tell me a joke in that case it has to trigger a joke skill which you have defined so that's what the trigger is it's a condition that determine whether a bot should execute the current skill or not if the trigger condition of a skill are validated the bot will execute it over other skills right so you will have so many skills a trigger point will decide which skill will be executed by your bot requirements requirements are either intents or entities that your skill needs to retrieve before executing an action. Requirements are pieces of information that are important in a conversation that your bot can use. For example, the username or a location. For example, in this use case, what would be a requirement? In case of resetting a password, a requirement for us will be system name in which user would like to change the password. According to that only, we can send the, the link to the user to reset their password. So for us, ask the system is a requirement. Now, what is an action? Action is finally what a chatbot would send to the user to fulfill his requirement. So once user puts you a requirement, action is what your chatbot will perform to fulfill that requirement. An action is something that your bot executes at a specific point when executing a skill. So once your requirements are fulfilled, for example, if a user says, I would like to reset the password, then you would ask user which system and then user says this is the system i would like to reset so once both of these requirements are matched your action is finally triggered where you would send the link to the user about this is the link to change the password all right so with that we are done with the basics understanding of a bot and a skill and different terms used inside developing of a bot in my next session we will talk about creating our first bot in the system. Stay tuned with Anubhav. Thank you so much for joining this session. See you in the next session. Goodbye.